Yes, I'm Jack Hip. I'm commander of the Massapequa Post 1066 of the American Legion, located here at 66 Veterans Boulevard, Massapequa, alongside the Massapequa Railroad Station. Okay, and here at the American Legion, uh, we are dedicated to helping veterans and also serving our community. These are two of the four pillars of the American Legion doctrine. Uh, here at the community, we uh, we support a uh, we sponsor a Cub Scout pack. We sponsor a twirling group of uh, young girls uh, who are taught here and march with us and march in parades all over Long Island. And they're very competitive and they're always up on top. To qualify for, to, for membership in the American Legion, you must have served in the United States Armed Forces during a period of war. You ne necessarily had to have been in an area of combat, but you must have served during that time period. We support the Veterans Hospital out in Northport. Uh, we have stand downs with veterans, uh, basically over in the uh, reg the armory at Freeport, where we uh, feed and clothe the homeless and uh, homeless veterans. We uh, um, we provide scholarships to the local high schools, both Massapequa and the Plain Edge High School. They get a yearly scholarship uh, from us. We support the Boys State and Girls State, which is a program of the American Legion, uh, where these uh, young ki children are sent upstate for a week to learn government. It has nothing to do with military. It's to learn our form of government, and uh, it's a great program that's been sponsored for the last 60 years by the American Legion. And we do many other community uh, events right here at the Post. Uh, the Memorial Garden uh, was uh, a lifelong uh, ambition of one of our past commanders who did the fundraising and the architectural work and uh, actually uh, was the, uh, uh, the founder of that uh, memorial. And to this day we have hundreds of names that are listed outside on the memorial plaques. We sponsor a Cub Scout uh, pack that comes here and cleans it up a couple of times a year. Even though we have landscaping, they, these uh, young boys come down and they do uh, what has to be done to pick up any kind of debris. And we also have a troop of uh, daisies from the Girl Scouts. They also come here at Memorial Day, just around Memorial Day, and plant flowers out there for us. We have people come here and rent the hall for weddings and go out there and take pictures in that memorial garden. We held here. This particular banquet room, uh, we hold 220 comfortably for a sit-down dinner. Our maximum capacity is 250. Um, and this hall is available for large parties, such as weddings, uh, Sweet 16 parties, uh, uh, birthdays and anniversaries. Uh, we have two halls for rent, and uh, we do get uh, business expositions, and we have a record album trade show four or five times a year. Uh, we have uh, various uh, charities uh, come in, and we help them with their fundraising events. And uh, we have two rooms for rent. Uh, one right here that we're in now, and the other one is upstairs, which is a smaller room, and it's used for baby showers, bridal showers, um, and things of that nature, corporate lunches, and private family parties. The community can support the American Legion by assisting us in growing our membership.
So if you're a veteran, and all veterans, all service people, men and women who've been in service since 1990 are now qualified up until today. There's been no change, the books are not closed. So just to come on down and, and, and join the American Legion and uh, you yourself will support the community and support, and in doing so you'll support the American Legion. be contacted for more room rental information at 516-795-1504. Uh, so with that, I'd like to say goodbye, and uh, I'll see you at the post. And please remember, come on down and join.